may be wondering why these teenagers are gathered here. This is what we in AHA call a connection circle. AHA is an organization that aims to create a community of socially and emotionally intelligent adolescents who are committed to compassion, character, positive creative expression, empathy for others, and the celebration of diversity. In other words, when a teen is able to manage their own emotions and have a healthier way of expressing them, then they're more likely to build empathy and to help others. A connection circle is where a group of people come together and talk about feelings, thoughts, and connect on a deeper level with each other. Each voice is important. In a connection circle, there's a talking piece that is passed around a group of people that enables the person who holds it to speak and those around to respect who is speaking. A connection circle is just asking other peers a set of questions, or if you're just really looking to connect, it can be like, uh, tell me the best thing about your weekend, or tell me the best thing about your day. Or... And so when I'm with friends or family, we do connection circles. It's a practice that's in my life because it's so enjoyable, and it actually is satisfying. We've um, grown to be really well known for our thorn and rose beginner circle, you know? It's, thorn is something that um, is not going so well, and the rose is something that's going well. And when you sit in a connection circle, and you can listen to everybody's voice, and um, really what it does is it brings the empathetic part of connecting with people get to know somebody for who they are, their experience, and um, having a space to really connect and clarify what's going on and get to know somebody. Because you get to know somebody, you get to understand that person, you're going to be very empathetic, very open, and walk away feeling like you just connected with people. Peace Builders was created as a backlash of people actually believing that restorative approach does not work. Um, and that's been a year and a half that we've had Peace Builders. And what Peace Builders, the point of Peace Builders is training students to have compassionate language, uh, have compassionate communication, and to understand that there might be a different way of resolving conflict. Would I say that I've seen for myself students' lives changing? And absolutely I have. And most importantly, I see that certain young people that were very shy and never spoke up and felt themselves to be outsiders are now peace builders leading circles. Why do I think shy people are actually drawn to become peace builders and lead circles themselves? Because actually, believe it or not, I was a shy person and I recognize that shy people need structures in order to socialize. If I just have to go up to somebody at a party I don't know and start talking, I'm very uncomfortable. But if I say, hey, I've got this thing we're doing called Peace Builders and it involves a talking piece and here's the structure, I feel a lot more comfortable and I can be less shy. In my school, what I see a lot of is just kind of either stereotyping or people being really enclosed in their own friend groups and not being very open to going and talking to other people. And I see it in my friend group, like I'll go up to someone who I know through Peace Builders or something like that and I'll just be like, oh, hi, and I'll talk to them for a little bit and after I'll get like a comment like, who was that? Or like, she had like weird hair or something like that. And it like it's opened my eyes that not everyone sees like everyone else in like the same way that I do. Like I look at everyone and I think everyone is beautiful in their own way. Whereas other people will look and if they don't look or dress exactly like they do, then they think that's weird. And so just being more open minded is something that I think our student body can work on. I first learned about Peace Builders in my freshman seminar class in ninth grade, and I kind of joined it blindly, not really knowing what I was getting myself into. 
um, but once I did join it and I did the course over the summer and I like learned a lot more about it, like I learned that I was joining it to kind of speak out for the kids that don't really have a voice. Um, I joined AHA uh, three years ago because I believe in what they teach, what they, sh what they share with the community, which is social emotional learning. Um, I got involved with Peace Builders um, from the beginning. Well, it was just an initiative we started, and um, I got involved because they made me get involved. But also, <laughs> I believe in the mission. I believe in the mission of bringing um, a stronger community, starting from the school and working its way out. I like working with teens, so AHA was perfect for that. And they asked me to join Peace Builders, and uh, upon learning about it, I really like the mission of it too, working with teens, bringing teens closer together, um, having a more cohesive school culture, a place where people feel accepted, wanted, comfortable. I wanted to be a part of helping that happen here. If I could change my skin color to any neon color, I would change it to a very maroon, dark red. As my hair is red, so I, it would kind of fit with that. I can't say enough how much I love red, red as a color. If I could change my skin color to any neon color, I would probably change it to neon pink. If I could change my skin color to any neon skin color, everyone that knows me knows it would be purple, deep purple, neon. A neon color. I really don't like neon colors on me, um, but I'd have to say if I'm changing my skin tone and I'm not going to look weird in the sense of yellow makes me look really yellow. I love neon orange. Neon orange would be fun. It's like you could see me coming along. Any neon color? <laughs> Something very, a tan neon. <laughs> I love being brown, so neon, if there's a neon brown, I'm all in, you know what I mean? <laughs> At first I was gonna say neon yellow, but then I was like, I don't really like to be that vibrant, but neon pink's kind of vibrant, but like, and it's also super girly, and I guess in some sense I'm very girly. <laughs> but yeah. I think that would be it. What the hell is that up with the neon color? You totally threw me. I'm all. Neon? Neon orange is kind of like snuffy or something. It's really, really bad. <gasps> yeah. Okay, so if you could change your skin color to any neon color, what would you change it to? Okay, I break rules all the time. So this has to either be neon green or neon ocean blue. 